the Shabbat Shalom again, little Hebrews, and we are back with part two of what is hell and the lake of fire. So, what is the lake of fire? Before we find out what the lake of fire is, let's find out who is the lake of fire or what was the lake of fire made for. Well, in the scriptures, Matthew 25, 41, Yehoshua is speaking to his emissaries and he tells them, Then shall he say also unto them, On the left hand, depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil, or Hashitan, and his Melakim, or his angels. So we see that the everlasting fire, the lake of fire, was prepared for or made for Hashitan and the fallen, the fallen angels. Hashitan and the angels that fell with him is who Yah prepared the lake of fire for, little Hebrews, after they have caused all the wickedness on this earth, they are going into the lake of fire. That is what Yah promised. Okay, let's look in the scriptures and find out what this lake of fire is. Let's go to Revelation 19.20. Revelation 19.20 says, And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of burning with brimstone and fire. So the lake of fire is burning with brimstone, little Hebrews. Let's look at Revelation 20.10. It says, And Hashatan that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever tormented means to make someone very uncomfortable uh the burning you know the hurting the the torment day and night well what about in revelation 2015 what does that say about this lake of fire well it says and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire uh-oh, now we see that not only will Hashatan, the beast, and the false prophet be cast into the lake of fire, but anyone that is not written in the book of life, they will be cast into the lake of fire too, little Hebrews. Okay, let's see what Revelation 21 and 8 says. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Little Hebrews, the lake of fire is a permanent place of burning for Hashatan, the beast, and the false prophet, the fallen angels, and for the wicked after they are in their resurrected bodies. Okay, so resurrected. Remember, we learned that the bodies of man will not stay in hell, not in the grave, okay, forever. Our bodies will rest, and once the Ruach of Yah has resurrected them, the wicked ones that did not follow Yah, did not learn from what Yahoshua showed them, will join Hashatan, the beast, and the false prophet, and the fallen angels in the lake of fire. You know what, little Hebrews? I still do not see a man in a red suit with a pitchfork. Do you? I do see that hell is not the lake of fire. And hell is not burning. Hell is the grave. And the lake of fire is burning with fire and brimstone. I say toda ya for how he has opened our understanding about hell 
and the lake of fire. We do not have to listen to what the world says about hell and the lake of fire. We have Yah's word and Yah has given us understanding about hell and the lake of fire. And that little Hebrews is our lesson on what hell and the lake of fire is. And now we will ask you some questions. Shalom.